The pineapples fit right in there. <laughs> it also works with a mirror. Are you now recording? I probably shouldn't yell at you. Hello you lovely people and welcome to this channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Coco and I like to talk about sustainability, zero waste and stuff like that. In this video I will talk about 10 things that I don't buy anymore since going zero waste because if you start to live zero waste you realize that there are so many things you really don't need to buy. Yes, the marketing departments of a lot of companies will tell you you need this and this and this and this, but actually you don't. Why am I whispering? I don't know. I could probably just talk like a normal person, but hey. First of all, I don't buy Swiffer sweeping cloth anymore. I thought it was practical, so I bought a Swiffer and the cloth, but then you constantly have to buy new ones and yet that you just throw them out, it's single use. What I realized is that satin, the fabric satin, attracts dust. I had some old sweatpants out of satin lying around that already had a lot of holes. I cut the pants up and now I have these rags that fit exactly on the Swiffer and they work so well. When I'm done, I just put them in the washing machine, I wash them and I use them again. And I never ever have to buy Swiffer sweeping cloth again, which I find brilliant. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this one handed, which is probably not a good idea, but you just put it like a regular Swiffer cloth on the Swiffer. And then use it like a regular Swiffer. And then you turn it around and you see all the dust. Nice. By the way, since I have to put the satin Swiffer rags into the washing machine anyways, I'll just tell you the second thing I don't buy anymore, which is liquid laundry detergent. If it's liquid, you need to put it in plastic. If you just use the washing powder, you can buy it in carton, which is much more sustainable. And by the way, why would you dilute the active substances in the laundry detergent? With water, you have water at home, you don't need liquid laundry detergent. So no, I don't buy liquid laundry detergent anymore. I buy just the carton with the washing powder. Excellent! Since we're in the bathroom already, number three on my list are liquid toiletries. Yes, again, just like with the laundry detergent, why would you dilute, why would you water down the active substances in your cleaning products with water? Buy them in dry form. Buy them in bars. So I, for example, have a shampoo bar, I have a conditioner bar, and I have a soap bar. And that is everything I need here in the shower. Number four of the things that I don't buy anymore is dry shampoo. When I was growing up, I had quite oily hair. It's a problem you have as a teenager or sometimes also as a grown-up. So, if you cannot wash your hair every five minutes, you use dry shampoo. Nothing wrong with that. But you know what works just like dry shampoo? Cornstarch. Yes, you just buy a little bit of cornstarch, you dip a brush in it, you make sure that you get rid of the excess stuff, you put it on your hair, you rub it in, you brush your hair like you would normally do, and boom! No oily hair anymore and you don't need dry shampoo. This is a tip I got from Lauren Singer. If you don't know who she is, she's an inspiration in the zero waste movement, Look her up on Google or on YouTube. This is all because of her. Number five, cleaning products. I used to have like 10 different cleaning products for the whole apartment. One for the bathroom, one for the toilets, one for the kitchen sinks, one for the windows, one for, well, you know, basically one for nearly every surface in this apartment. And I realized that you don't need all of that. You basically just need three different things to clean your whole apartment with. Number one, vinegar essence. 
It's like a concentrated form of white vinegar and I put it in a spray bottle with a bit of water. I spray it over the surfaces and that just works fine. It's also a bit of a disinfectant. If you need a bit more power, you could just use baking soda. Sprinkle soda over whatever dirt you have, then also spray some uh, vinegar essence and water solution over it. Let it soak in for a while, then clean it. Perfect. If you need something even stronger, you could use sodium carbonate. Now, please do not confuse this with sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda. These are two very, very different things. Want to make it clear. This you cannot put in food. This is very bad for you if you inhale it or ingest it. So don't never, never confuse sodium carbonate with sodium bicarbonate. Okay. In German, it's a bit easier because we call what you call baking soda, we call natron, and then sodium carbonate, we call soda. So for us, it's easier to differentiate. But yeah, if you need something stronger than baking soda, use sodium carbonate carefully. I use this mostly for cleaning the toilet. I spray the toilet with a bit of vinegar essence and water solution. Then I sprinkle the sodium carbonate on it. I leave it there for sometimes overnight, you know, it just however long you want to leave it like that. And then just the next day, I just, you know, wash it off with some water and that's it. It works perfectly. Now, if you have noticed, the sink there behind me is quite dirty because I wanted to show you how this works. So what you do is you just spray everything generously with the essence of vinegar and water solution. Now, usually I would let it sit there for a while, but you know, for the purposes of just demonstrating how easy that is, I will just take it off. So this is already clean and it works just the same with the rest of the sink. This is the finished product. Shiny and clean again. This time, like only two minutes and it's clean. Bada bam, bada boom, perfect. Number six is individually packaged tissues. Here in Germany, it's rather normal to buy these little packages of tissues wrapped in plastic. You can take them with you anywhere. It's very practical. This was left behind in our apartment from one of our friends. So I use it as a demonstration object. What I do instead is I buy these tissue boxes. This is carton, you can recycle it very easily. There are lots of tissues in there if you need them. If you, <laughs> if you need them. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, should you need them, they're easily accessible at home. If I go out, I just grab a few of these and put them in my bag, you know, just in case. And let's be honest, if you need more tissues than just a few when going out, you should probably stay at home because you're sick. Number seven and eight on the list, kitchen towels and dish sponges. Single use paper kitchen towels. We use just rags instead. This here used to be my boyfriend's favorite t-shirt. He wore it until it was dead. But once it was unbearable, we just cut it up into rags and now we use it as kitchen towels. You clean up any dirt or spillage, you put them in the washing machine and you can use them for a long time. Works just as well, but it doesn't cost anything. Isn't that great? You know what else I haven't been using in a long time? Dish sponges, yeah. Use dish scrubbies instead. You can get them with a handle like that. Once the eco-friendly compostable dish scrubby is dead, you get a new one, you put it on the handle and you're good to go again. Okay, so no dish sponges and no kitchen towels. Also, I don't buy glass jars anymore. Why would you buy them if you can get them for free when you buy something at the supermarket? Just reuse the glass jars you buy anyways. 
You can see I have this beautiful collection of smoothie glass jars that we use for spices. Then I have these ones with the green lid. They are from a vegan Nutella. Dips! If you make your own dips at home, you already have a dip jar. Isn't it great? The small ones from the vegan liver sausage, Haiti. This is the perfect size. If you're cooking and you have that one half lemon or that one half onion that you just want to store in the fridge, put them in a glass like that. You don't need any Tupperware containers. Just use little tiny glass jars. You always see what's inside. And after using them, put them in the dishwasher, use them again. Last but not least, number 10. I don't buy coffee pads, coffee capsules, or all that stuff anymore. I used to have a coffee pad machine, I used to have a coffee capsule machine. I nowadays only use my beloved French press. If you do not know what that is and how it works, well, I just recently made a video about five things that helped me very much to reduce my waste and the French press was featured in that video as well. So I'll just leave a link up there and down below for you if you would like to check it out. I will now enjoy my cup of coffee because I think I earned it. And I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, if you got, you know, anything out of it, I would really appreciate it if you liked it, if you subscribed or commented. If you would like to see a second part of this video, like 10 more things that I could easily find that I don't buy anymore, let me know down in the comments. Honestly, it doesn't only help the planet, it also helps your wallet and your bank account. All right, folks, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.